a lot of work. A lot of people don't know who I am, don't know what I do, and that's my main concern. I have my website. I do a lot of self-promoting on Twitter, on Facebook, um, but that's really about it. It's difficult because people just find it easier to run to the nearest um, department store and buy a dress rather than knowing that they can go to someone where they can have it made completely just for them. They'll be the only one with that dress, only person with that fabric. And you can go to a party and not worry, hey, she has my shirt on. Usually when I debut my collection, I never get to really sit in the audience to see it because I have to be backstage dressing people. But when I actually see the clothes coming out, I'm like, hey, I did this. Like from sketch to illustration to actually being made. It's a great feeling. It's really all I want. <laughs> I can't see myself doing anything else. That keeps me pushing and knowing that eventually I'm going to get where I want to be. I think she's going to be successful because I always say you have to be patient to get it because everything is in the world, you have to struggle for it first. It's Kosher Tees. I chose that name because for it to stand as a legitimate tease. Clothes are very innovative, very fresh. I think I do a lot of freelance, custom-made work, one of a kind. Some people come and want me to design something for them. Other people actually just have a picture, someone's dress that they've seen online. I just want to see my clothes on people. That's my main thing. Um, I want people wearing my clothes. I want to walk outside and see someone wear my clothes. Like, hey, I made that. That for me is more than enough. This is Enid Kalo for WEBN.